Hey everyone, what's up? So today we're gonna cover the 10 truths about the business market and really why people need to change. So we're just gonna dive straight into this. First of all, marketing doesn't matter. Now, marketing isn't what it used to be. You used to be able to describe anything, tell any story, and even if the product didn't exist, get a really good result out of it. You could probably sell it with Facebook ads, Google ads, email broadcasts and, and lists and things like that. Pretty much if, if you knew just how to do marketing in the past and before, like about just one, two years ago, in the past, if you knew anything about copywriting, Facebook ads, just how to throw together a cool looking video and maybe maybe a landing page, you could make money online and run a business. Now, I'm not saying that these skills aren't necessary because these skills are necessary to run a business, but really just, it's, it, it's, it's better, knowing how to do it is better than not knowing how to do it, obviously, but if all you have is marketing skills, it's you're just gonna get your ass handed to you in this current environment and it's only going to get worse. So. What it really is all about is the product. It doesn't matter about the marketing. You're not gonna differentiate yourself with the marketing. So it's really a red sea out there in terms of social media marketing and marketing and consulting and whatnot because you need to make sure, and, and you need to make sure that you're existing in a blue ocean. Um, and this does, not happen at the, this does not happen at the marketing level. You don't differentiate with marketing. If you're a marketing differentiator, that's not anything, and you will not be able to run a profitable and successful business. Even if you can run a slightly different marketing thing, so what, it doesn't matter. It's all about the product and marketing does not matter. So just kind of going off to the second point, it's all about the results now. Once you develop your product, you need to make sure your product is delivering extremely profitable results. And so I don't know how people even really did believe it was all about the marketing because it's not. It was a giant delusion and everyone that's been under this delusion is really suffering heavily today. It's all about the product and you know what? It's always been about the product. You re need to relentlessly focus on your product to different and take it to new levels so you can bring an incredible result to all of your clients. Making sure that your products are up to date, current and bringing results consistently and predictably, you'll be able to crush other people because most people don't worry about their product and if they do, it's a shit product. And this has enabled me to beat a lot of the people in this marketplace because what's happening now, the, the market has become more aware so now they don't just look and how your slick marketing is and, and, and word of mouth and, and whatnot, they don't look at that. That doesn't happen anymore and it doesn't matter. What they look at is the product. If they can't get access to look at your product or if you don't explain it well, then they'll ask other people. People leave reviews and there's testimonials. People expect proof in reviews and testimonials. If your product isn't great and your service isn't great, people are not gonna listen to you. They're gonna ignore your marketing. So it's all about the product. On top of that, you really need to look at your customers and focus on your customers. Yeah, your product can be great and you can deliver great results, but in order for it to be extremely profitable, you need to focus on your customers, adding value, solving problems, and making great stuff. Going on to the third point, true value is greater than any fame or following. So value over fame, 100%. Another mass delusion that's been going on is fame is the same as success and it's completely false. It's not how it works. Or if you get famous, you'll be successful. That's messed up too. That's not how it works. This is not the same. It's it's just not the same as true success. And on top of that, time will always correct delusions. The marketplace can remain delusional for a while. Maybe think that being successful means um, means having a huge following or having fame. It'll Time will correct it. As soon as, as time comes in and corrects everything, It'll collect everything that's adding value and it will only leave the ones that are selling true and adding true value. So make sure you always focus on the value because that's greater than any fame or following. Fourth thing, laser focus is greater than diversification. So focus over the diversification. Now this is another fascinating one. So with technology in the modern world, we've seen a rise of all these new social media platforms and people think that, you know, like with YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, people think you gotta diversify and put all your eggs into into different baskets, but you should put all your eggs in one basket. And on the top of that, people think they're gonna jump from one thing to the other, same with different niches or same with different ways they're doing stuff. The thing is, the grass is greenest where you water it. The grass is not greener on the other side. The grass is greener where you water it. So what you need to do is go and really focus, have laser focus on your goal, on your vision, what you want to achieve, and put that into the certain things that you want to do and certain people you're helping, certain niches you're helping. If you do everything, you can't not be doing the thing that's working. That's basically just the rationale behind diversification. What you'll learn is that good investors, they do not diversify. Good entrepreneurs, they do not diversify. Diversification is a strategy deployed by people that don't know what they're doing because if you have something that works incredibly well, your number one thing, why would you dilute 
your investment into this thing? Why would you dilute your number one so that you can reallocate all those resources into number 30? Why, why would you ever do that? So don't deliberately take away the best thing and do more of the worst things. It doesn't make any sense. You, you would never do that. The only time people diversify is when they know, when they don't, and what, the only time people diversify is when they don't know what works. Don't diversify, have laser focus. Fifth thing, kind of building off of this, you need to focus on the things that matter because your business cannot scale. A lot of business owners these days focus and spend 95% of their time on social media, doing stupid stuff that doesn't matter, creating content, all this crap, building funnels, doing podcasts, writing Amazon books, it doesn't matter, okay? What matters is you need to focus on outreach, making more opportunities for yourself, crafting the best product. These people aren't gonna survive. These people, they're getting taken out in massive storms, they're getting flattened, and they're gonna be extinct. Focus on the things that truly matter to grow your business and bring you profit. Because without profit, your business is gonna die. So next one, building tried and tested systems. Building a system that is well, uh, well-placed, well-grounded, physically tested is extremely important because in theory, practice and theory are the same thing, but in practice, they aren't. Just an example of this, when you think something's gonna go a certain way, it always goes a completely different way when you actually do it. So building a tried and tested system is extremely important. On top of that, your mind is extremely weak. And you need to be able to focus on wisdom over knowledge. Knowledge is about facts, about ideas that we acquire through study, research, investigation, or just our current experiences. That doesn't matter. What matters is wisdom, and, and wisdom is the ability to discern and judge which aspects of that knowledge, which aspects of the knowledge that you have are true, right, lasting, and applicable to your life. Building knowledge is really what you need, and having the right mindset behind everything is extremely important so you can grow in your business. If you don't have the right mindset, you're gonna be you're gonna you are gonna be stuck in just a, a, a quicksand pit and you're just gonna be completely screwed over. Next one, building true consistently through your everyday life, and this comes from discipline. Building discipline is extremely, extremely important. And you're gonna build consistency consistency through discipline. Simple steps to build discipline. Don't look at your phone so much. Don't have the urge to go and grab snacks. Don't go and have the urge to grab that drink. You need to be able to build true consistently with true consistency with everything that you do. If you don't, your business will die. Ninth one, second to last one, perception of one right and one wrong. So many people think in binary terms, right? They think they think there's it's yes or no, right and wrong. This is completely wrong. For example, Mike Tyson, he was a boxer. And then he was a heavyweight, but he fought also like a lightweight. He was extremely light on his feet, extremely fast, but his punches were like a heavyweight boxer. And this is what you need to be. You need to ride that thin line of being both. You can't be extremely mean in the business world, but you can't be too nice either. You got to ride that thin line. And that's why things in the world are not binary. It's not one right. It's not one wrong. You always have to be a mix of the best. And that Those who the best people are, for example, as well, tactics and strategies. I'll talk to business owners all the time, like, hey, do you do, what, what are some strategies that you're doing in your business? They'll list off a ton of different stuff, how they're getting clients, how they're trying to grow, and it doesn't matter. They all end up being tactics. Just to sum them up, tactic is short-term, strategy is long-term. They're focusing all on the short-term with the tactics that they're doing. So finally, connecting with their, your clients. Whoever your clients are, whoever you're working with, whoever your potential clients are, connect with them. To truly grow, you need to build valuable relationships. Businesses are made of people. Businesses are made of people. It's not B2B, it's not business to business, or it's not business to customer. Businesses are made of people. It's really B2P because it's really P2P. It's people to people. Everything is made up of people. Connecting, adding real value, adding real tactical, strategical value is extremely important. These are my 10 steps and the, the 10 truths, the gut-wrenching truths of why the business market is, is slowly, slowly gonna start declining for the people that don't realize these certain things. You need to realize these and you need to start putting in your tried and tested systems with consistency, reliability, connecting with the right people and growing your business in a profitable way. So listen, I'm glad that you watched this video. I hope you got some value out of this. Now, if you wanna talk with me, go ahead and click the link and we can talk some time on the phone. I can give you some more tips, give you some advice and we can go from there. I hope you guys got some value out of this video and I look forward to speaking with you soon. Thanks.